what is up precious family how are you guys today it's your girl pastora janice batista here coming at you guys today with another video i hope that all the ladies were able to see my alert when i sent you guys a text that i was going live if you didn't get it i am so sorry i sent like three of them i don't know what is going on <clears throat> with my um tech system today but we are going to move forward in the mighty name of jesus i pray that everybody is doing well before we get started as you know i am going to anoint myself with my anointing oils my dea anointing oils because you know when i do these lives i want to smell like a mighty woman of god okay so i pray amen if you guys haven't gotten your hands on these please check the link above i added the link on there so you guys can grab some for you and also grab some for your hubby too okay so we got some for the ladies and some mighty prayer oils called lion heart for the men okay so you ladies do not want to miss out on that okay so today's video that the lord put in my heart today amen is how youtube witches kill you okay now i hope they don't try to block this video because <laughs> other way i worded it but that's just what the lord gave me okay how youtube witches try to kill you all right so this is this video is going to be for you know women of god who are just feeling like they in a space where they just need some spiritual help and some spiritual guidance, okay? And one of the things that you do not want to do, ladies, if you are going through any type of issues in your life, any type of issues in your marriage, issues with your family, the last thing that you want to do is go on YouTube and just start exposing yourself to random people that are on there that you don't even know. Like you got to look out for two different type of people when you're on YouTube, okay? When you on YouTube, because I know that sometimes it's difficult for women of God. I know that sometimes you could be struggling at home. You may be in a certain city, in a certain town where you may not be able to access certain churches. You may not have access to, you know, prayer services, you know, meetings with other women of God so that you can feel empowered, right? So it may cause you to, to be in a vulnerable state. And this is what the devil is doing right now now he is causing a lot of people on youtube right to be vulnerable okay and this goes for facebook too okay because there's a lot of witches and warlocks who are positioning themselves right on social media to try is not to really feed the flock they don't look at it as okay this is a part of my mandate i'm coming on here because i have to you know bring a word forth that is going to bless somebody's life you know their mindset right because they're this we're dealing with a twisted generation right their mindset is not in the right place so we have to learn, right, to be very careful when we are seeking a prophetic word. We have to be very careful when we are seeking for someone to pray for us, right? Because we're opening up ourselves to people. They are very, I never really call people like that. It's probably like less than five people, right, in my life that I can't say in my life, but for the past five years, I do not open up to people to everybody and anybody about the things that i got going on in my life right because i understand that i'm a woman of god just like you right but because i have a, a pastoral home right i go through certain things that i can only i know wisdom is to only talk about it with either a mighty warrior of god right or somebody a, a pat a pastoral you know, couple or, or a pastor that I know can help me with my situation. So you have to use discernment, right? When you're going through things, because the things that you're going through in your life, God wants you to overcome them. But the problem is that sometimes when we're trying to seek that guidance, when we're trying to find authentic people, right? Sometimes the devil uses that to his advantage. So this is why when you're going through something, right? And you're going to go on social media to look for someone, right? Because I've counseled people who have 
come to me right after they have gone to certain strange people on that they saw on YouTube without a face, certain groups that they saw on Facebook and YouTube because they had a certain popularity, right? They will go to those places, but then they would have a lot of brain frog after they received the prophetic word from these people, right? That they found on social media, but whether it was because of the popularity or whether it was because of the prophetic word that they were releasing, right? And they couldn't see their face, but for some reason, you know, they just fell into the trap, right? To look for the person, like, because a lot of witches and warlocks are put in their in phone numbers right there, and they just want to go and count, counsel people, and they're doing that with an objective to open up your soul, to open up your heart, to open up your mind, right? In, and, and to put it in a place where you are vulnerable, right? So they want to know everything about you. They want to know everything that's going on, right? So that they can identify... If you are a candidate that they can use, right, to attack, this is why I'm not against you going on YouTube or going on Facebook and finding a ministry, right, or finding a pastor, a woman of God, right, that is going to lead you the right way. But most of the time, if it is someone that is going to lead you the right way, they're going to have some type of foundation in their own life, right? I'm not saying they're going to be perfect, but they're going to have a foundation, something that you can, the fruits of the spirit, right, will testify. The spirit of the Lord will testify to your spirit, right, that this person is the one. This is why it's important, even if you're not uh, all that type of Christian that's going to church every Sunday and got your, you know, head on straight. If you love God and you love Jesus and you accepted him into your life, it's important to just sometimes have a conversation with him and say, God, I'm going through something right now and I really need you to place somebody in my life, somebody that I could seek, you know, to speak to for counsel, somebody that could, you know, put my mindset in the right place, right? Because if you don't do that, if you don't seek counsel from the right place, right? If you don't seek counsel from people that are genuine, people who literally want to see you better, right? Because there are people that are in ministries, people that are on social media, that their objective is not to see you better. This is why they spend so much time of their life invested in people that they themselves are hurting, right? Because they are wolves if they weren't wolves in sheep's clothing why would they spend so much like a sheep is not going to spend so much time with other sheep right to try to convince them that they are sheep only a wolf will do that because a sheep is going to behave themselves like a sheep they got things to do right a sheep is going to tend to their responsibilities and when i say sheep it means you and i okay it means the body of believers right women of god who are in position and have a mandate by God are going to be not consumed, but they are going to prioritize, right? Their life. You're not going to be their priority first. Why? Because these people are going to prioritize if they are of God, they are going to prioritize their responsibilities. They are going to prioritize, you know, th their family's responsibilities and their responsibilities with God, right? So when you look at these witches that's trying to kill people on social media, right? On online, on Facebook, on YouTube, when you see these type of, you know, that you could call them psychics, okay? You could call them, you know, false prophetic, you know, witches, okay? You could call them, God bless you, Josie, my love, amen. Welcome, sweetheart, amen. You know, you could call them, you know, whatever you want to, witch doctors, right? But they are masquerading. I've seen a lot of videos lately too with people who are, who sound Christian. They may throw a verse here. They may throw a verse there, but guess what they wearing? They wearing Santeria necklaces. So what does that mean? When you going online and you looking for what it looks like to be a woman of God and she has on a satanic necklace, you know, necklaces like the Santeria ones, like the little beads, and she got like a whole bunch of them in all the different colors, but she's quoting scripture to you, right? What's going to happen if you open up yourself to witches like that? What's going to happen when you open yourself up, right? 
to certain people. God bless you, Amari, my love. Amen. You know, what's going to happen when you open up yourself to these type of people online who are literally praying on, on the body of believers, right? So this is why it is important, right? When you are going through financial issues, when you are going through spiritual warfare issues, when you are going through difficulties in your marriage, when you're going through difficulties in your ministry, when you're going through difficulties in your life, I'm not saying don't go out there and seek help. You can, but you got to have that conversation, right? with the Lord first, because if you go down the wrong path, like look at what it says in Revelations 12, 9, 10, right? It said the word of God is read in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, right? It says that the great dragon, it says, was hurled down the ancient, the ancient serpent called the devil, okay? It says, or Satan, right? Who leads the world astray. So this great dragon, the Bible says in the book of revelation, right? is called the devil It's called the serpent, right? So he goes into the world. He leaves the world, right? And his objective is to lead the people of God, the mighty women of God, the men of God. His objective is to lead the people astray from God. How does he do that? He tricks them. Right. This is why the Bible says, be careful. I sent you out as sheep. God bless you, Miss Keisha. My love. Amen. Um, and good evening. Um, cook. Amen. God bless you, my love. Amen. If you guys could just like the video, share it so other people could get on in here in the room. I would appreciate it so much. Amen. So when you look at the devil, right, and how he leads people astray, it says that he was hurled to the earth and with and his angels were sent with him. Okay, so that means that the devil, Satan. Satan, witches, warlocks, they have continuous reinforcements. You see, it's like us, like as Christian mighty women of God, sometimes we don't have the reinforcements that we need. It's not because we're not mighty men and women of God, right? It's not because, because you may be watching this video and you know, you going through some things and you are, you a believer, like you are a warrior of God, but guess what? Sometimes you may need some destiny helpers and not have them around. Sometimes you may need certain people to counsel you and you may not have them around. So it's like, what are you going to do in those, or what is anyone else going to do in those seasons, right? Where you need need help, but nobody is around to help you out, right? You're going to want, it doesn't mean that you're not a mighty warrior. It just means that you need a little bit of extra help and it's not around. So we have to learn, right? To depend. God bless you, Pastor and Adam, my love. Amen. We have to learn. And thank you so much for that Bible verse. Yes. Isaiah 53. I love, um, I love that verse that, um, Isaiah 53, 51, all of them. Amen. We have to learn, amen, to, to depend on God in those moments where it doesn't feel like he's supporting us, right? God is always supporting us, but in those moments when you don't have no one around, right? Because sometimes as a woman of God, it's going to feel like that. It's going to feel like, man, I'm so available to help everybody out. But when I need help, no one is available to help me. And sometimes that can cause, right? Like I said, a panic in, in a pastor. It could cause a panic in, in, in the regular women of God, right? Why? Because the anxiety starts to kick in. The depression starts to kick in. Your vulnerability, right, is what these witches and warlocks who are positioning themselves in high places, right, in, in the social media places, right? They already on the, they already is like a hotline. Like you ever called back in the days before you were Christ, one of those psychic hotlines and they just picking up the phone and they just ready to read cards. They just ready to, to fortune sell and all that stuff. Well, this is what's happening, right? In on YouTube. This is what's happening on Facebook. So when you see these people, right, who are pretending, because look at what the, look at this verse. I didn't even get to get in there, right? It says, he was hurtled to earth with his angels with him. Then I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, now have come the salvation and the power of the kingdom of God and the authority of the Messiah. But look what it says. It says, but for the accuser of the brethren and the sisters who has accused them before, 
before God day and night, he has been hurtled down. So what does that mean? In Revelations 12, 9, 10, amen, it's saying to us that there is a devil who's trying to portray himself like God, who comes down in the form of a human flesh, right? To come down and prophesy into your life, right? To, 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 to give you, it looks like a prophecy, but it is a psychic reading. It is somebody masquerading as a prophet, but they are a psychic. They're just using the name pastor. They're just using the name ministry, right? But in all actuality, they're agents of darkness because, you know, there are so many, you know, agents of darkness, witches and warlocks, not only do they have a lot of people always backing them up, like their ministries will literally look so legit. You will see because there are they're, they're, they're sacrificing, they're killing people. They're, I've seen the, and some people may be like, oh, you know what? I don't like this video. I don't like what you're talking about. Like, you know, this right here. God bless you, Diana, my love. Yes, they are doing some heavy witchcraft, fast and everywhere. And it's like, some people may be like, oh, you know, that's, that doesn't happen. Like, you gotta be a woman of God. You gotta speak about love and this, that, and third. But I've seen myself, you know, witches come into our church and literally feed people right when I told them not to feed not to eat from those people I literally saw them feed certain people and they died from cancer right both two different separate homes right somebody who rose up against us right but it was the it was the spirit of the lord right that revealed that to me the bible talks about hidden things that can be revealed from god to us if we pay attention if we open up our ears, our spiritual ears, and we desire that connection with God, if we seek him through worship, if we seek him through the word, if we seek him through unity, right? Godly unity, because godly unity is good, right? But there are, because, but there are seasons where, yeah, God is going to cause you to shut down, shut everything away, turn off, turn off everything, everybody, right? He's going to cause you for certain seasons in your life to be secluded. I had to, you know, go through some things in my life. You know, I remember in the beginning of my journey in that time and in that season, when I seen these witches doing that, and I actually seen both houses, you know, both homes, you know, two people from that household just get afflicted from cancer after this witch, right, had literally went to be cooking for them. Because what happens is that this witch was cooking for us in the church, and, and was bringing food and the Lord every week. And the Lord literally was like, stop. This woman is not coming with a good intention. The Lord literally told me she's putting things in the food. And it got so bad that when my husband, this was in the beginning, like of my spiritual warfare journey. Like this is what some people may not understand. Like, okay, how destroying evil altars got started, right? Because our ministry started off as CDR Greensboro, right? Which is the local church that we had in Greensboro for 13 years, right? So when we started, because a lot of y'all may not know that. That, right so th I'm just explaining to y'all like how the Lord started to you know minister into my life and you know I left the occult world I came into Christianity for a lot of a couple years then I be the Lord brought us into ministry called us you know into the, the the pastoral calling and it was you know everything was going okay until I, f I realized what it was like to be powerless in our own church, right? So as I started to allow, you know, be that loving woman of God and just accepting people and embracing people and giving positions to people without using the discernment, right? Because at that time, I was very naive. You could say I was a really naive sheep just thinking like, okay, everybody who comes into church is just hurt, is just looking for a word of God. But it's like, no, the Lord had to humble me down to the ground. Like the Lord had to literally equip me and help me understand early in our ministry, right? That the calling that he had upon our life was to understand that people are coming to kill. 
They're not coming to, to worship. It may look like they're coming to serve. It may look like they have gifts that they want to lay on the altar, right, of the Lord, but that is not the case. So you got to use a lot of discernment. This is why I tell people, all the, I, I could be very cool with you, but I will cut you off in a minute and act like I never spoke to you for, for the rest of my life. Like, I could act like you never existed. I won't call you. I won't look for you. My family knows I'm like that. My husband's family knows I'm like that. That my husband knows that why because I take my calling very seriously. I don't tolerate anyone to come in with doubt. I don't come tolerate anyone to come in with jaggers, right? Because I understand what the Bible says. We have a demon who is an accuser, so you got to <clears throat> be very careful, right? Yes, with the type of people that we have, we allow to come into our space, that we allow to come into our family dining room table, that we allow to come into our homes, that we go to their homes, that we fellowship right with these people. We go out to eat with these people. We go to the gym. We go to barbecues. We go to you know, different events with these people that we're associating with, that we're connecting with. You got to understand this, that when you have a church, right, you are going to have witches and warlocks who are in the community. They already got a gang of them. It's like a gang of witches, like literally a gang of like a mob. And each city is probably like mobs of 2,000 to 5,000, which is like the covens in all the cities are huge. But guess what? The men and women of God, the real ones, sometimes don't operate in numbers and heavy numbers. They're not operating in unity, right? Because the, the reason why the church can't operate in the unity, right? And why am I mentioning this? Because the people who are going online, they're falling prey to victims. They're po they're falling, you know, into, into witchcraft and into the occult. And because they're vulnerable, because the church of God is not positioned positioning right is it, self in there yes and the jealousy yes and and right and and it's very difficult it's very difficult for the peep for the body of believers because they uh, is it, it, it's hard because it's like the jealousy is even in the pastoral people it's it's you know how many people like i deal with even in this season now that i'm you know downgrading and now that you know the house and 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 getting rid of so much stuff you know how many people have tried to play themselves and call me just to get gather intel just to gather information because monitoring spirits are very real when you have an anointing if you ain't got no anointing ain't nobody gonna be mon monitoring you but when there's anointing when there is a purpose when there is something on you right a, a star on you when there is a a per like the bible says many are called right few are chosen when you are that fume that is chosen by God, you are going to suffer a lot. You're going to suffer because your family is, you know, sometimes the anointed prophets have to separate themselves from anything and everybody because their realness and their boldness and their integrity with the Lord cannot be compromised. So this is why when you see other ministries that look like they're doing good, like look like it's a fake movement, that look like it's a a, a a a a ministry where you just see it. it it looks from a distance like okay it's blossoming over there you know even mad pastors even that's something that i've had to you know understand digest in my own life not to look at certain ministries because you don't know what they sacrifice to get there and i say that in a good way and in a bad way okay why? Because some people are, are have a growing ministry. I'm not saying that grow, a growing ministry is a bad thing. But when you see that they're the fruits of the spirit that are in their leaders, the, the people that they baptize, like they, if, if they're people that just allow anybody to come and serve, if they allow anybody to just come in, you should be very, you know, um, scared. You should be very, you know, wise and you should be full of discernment because no pastor in his right mind, right, is going to contradict themselves. And this is what they do. They know 
right? Like after this video, they'll probably try to portray themselves like, oh yeah, we, you know, we can't just throw any crazy person up there. So because they heard me throw it out there, right? They, cause this is what they do. And I already know this is what those ministries do, right? They literally try to, they just let anybody come in and baptize, anybody come in and lay hands, anybody come in, come on, let's go, let's activate the gifts, let's go. Like, and it doesn't work like that, right? Yes. And you have to wait. Yes. You gotta, you you can't just let people, even as, as me, right? Pastor Netta too, right? In, in the churches, when people come in, we have to get to know you. Like you may have a great testimony. You may have great gifts, but guess what? We've been betrayed probably so many times that we need to figure you out. We need to see what you, so some, some people may not be willing to go through all that jazz because they coming in, they just want a position right now because they on a mission, right? Or, or some people may be genuine and not on a mission and really want to serve right away but they have to understand that there's a process right and when you don't go through the process and you you don't get to see the the things that you want from certain pastors and certain you know believers and certain things like that when you're not seeing the results the things that you really want to see what's going to happen Th these people are going to go on YouTube that's they're going to type in prophetic word they're going to type in deliverance on this why because they know they're going through some attacks in their life right so because they're vulnerable and they're impatient it causes them to it causes satan to to prey on them this is why when you look at matthew 4 1 3 right what does it say it says then jesus was led by the spirit excuse me, into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. So in the wilderness season, you're supposed to be seeking God the same way Jesus did. Jesus was seeking the spirit of God and the spirit of God led him into the wilderness. And in the wilderness, the devil tempted him on his journey while he was, you know, seeking God, while he was trying to gain you know, that oneness with the father, right? The devil came because he knew who Jesus was, right? It says after he was what? Sacrificing. After he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights, the Bible says that he was hungry, right? So a lot of people, this is why it, this debunks a lot of the things that people say, right? God bless you, Miss Keisha online where you see all these people that just are, you know, easily available. They jump into 25,000 things, right? And it's like they jump into 25,000 things, but it's like when you look at their life and you look at the fruit in their own life, it just doesn't pan out. It just looks like very occultic. It looks like very, like they're like, you just look at it, looking at it. If you wondering and it takes you a long time, like your spirit, you know, if you love God and you listen into worship, if you seeking God, right, you have to hear his spirit. You have to hear the spirit of the living God communicate with you. You have to learn how to communicate with the father through Jesus Christ. Like I've learned throughout all of these years that I've been serving the Lord, right? I have to, when I'm, when I'm speaking to, to the father and I'm speaking to him in the name of Jesus, I'm speaking to the father and there are moments where it's like, I'm speaking to Jesus. And there are moments where I'm speaking to the spirit of God, the Holy spirit, right? So there are moments where I will shift and somebody else from the outside would be like, girl, you crazy. But there are moments where, you know, there's like a chain of command. I know that the spirit is with me, right? Because the Bible says that he gave us an advocate. He was going to send a counselor to be with us but there are moments right where you want that the spirit of the lord to penetrate right past the second heavens you got to go through the authority right there are moments where we need jesus and there are moments where we need god himself like the father in his throne to to really come in and literally fight right for our cause so the bible says when jesus was hungry it says that the tempter came in and said to him if you are the son of God, right? He said, tell these stones to become bread, right? So he was, be the, the, the devil tried to come and prophesy 
a demonic word into his life and and basically try to be like well if you are he already knew right he he was the son of god he already knew it because he heard it when he was getting baptized he already knew the devil already knew before jesus even came in before he was even an adult there were so many tragedies in the life of jesus right from, that happened before his existence where all the babies had to get murdered and all that stuff you know when when we look at the bible and king herod and all that when they were trying to go crazy right and and looking for all the babies under two to kill them and all that stuff right we already understand biblically that there was a prophetic word that was spoken into jesus's life into his existence and you may say okay well what does that have to do with me there is already a word spoken over pastor anetta there's already a word spoken over keisha and over amadi and over you know all of the women that are here connected there was a word that was spoken over your trials and your storms and your tribulations and all of your difficulties and your weaknesses even mine right there are words that were spoken over our life they were you know god basically you know put his breath of life on our purpose on our ministry right so this is another reason why the lord was really telling me that the the weekly um power pray because you know how we have power fasting fridays right now that i finally finished this and i'm starting my new job and and i'm you know doing little light training here and there right this is the season where the lord was showing me you you guys are going to start going into and i know i've been mia yeah i've been like where is pastora like what is she doing trust me i'm like here in in my little hot in my little cave okay i'm just here listening to the word praying and talking to god and repenting and going through you know my emotions my issues my problems and my situations and and i'm you know adjusting just like you guys but i can't always come on here right and give you guys what i want to now i can because the whole house is done now i can because all i gotta do is go to the church later today you know dump the the, the first bus load and, and i told y'all earlier in the in the chat right in the dea chat room you know when i left you ladies the voice memo earlier this morning and you know i just got to come back get the last stuff that's in the garage and that's it like that all i gotta do is like you know clean up more dust everything more you know close these little holes you know sand them down give a nice touch up paint but the house is gonna look nice and brand new so this helps me be able to focus and give you guys my best so we always right yes um amari said when i left my first church and went back after 10 years i had to wait six months before serving yes and look and she said now she's one of the leaders and it's good because when you are really submitted to god you're gonna realize that everything is everything that is good everything that is godly is going to take time you need to be very iffy with these ministries that profess manifestation glory like it just boom it just happened overnight it does not happen overnight the real people that are in the kingdom of god that are real soldiers in the kingdom of god know that it does not happen blah, overnight like that it didn't happen to jesus it didn't happen to the disciples right yes they did grow in numbers but it was because right the anointing over their life was legit okay so when you look at ministries if they are growing in numbers you have to know if they are legit what makes them legit right when you come to them and they cause you to put in that work if they are giving you a prophetic word and that like houdini's is done is spoken right yes you have to come in agreement when i give counseling and to women of God, yes, I am going to come at you with a lot of faith. I am going to give you the word of God. And if you got a certain situation, yes, I'm going to speak life over you. And it is going to be done. But, all right, somebody say, but in the chat, can I hear you see somebody say, but, amen. But you are going for that prophecy to take root. And to take place, the words that I spoke, okay, you're going to have to do your part after the word is spoken. 
you're going to have to do your part. Is And this is why, this is what's the difference between prophets and psychics, right? Psychics and, and, and witch doctors will, will read your cards and profess something, right? Because they already know God already professed it. So because God knows it, his angels know it. Remember the Bible, the verse I read to you in Revelations, right? That the devil was sent to the, to the earth, right? And he came like a, like a dragon hur hurling down right and he came with his demonic angels his fallen angels so when these psychics are like reading the reading people's fortunes and reading people's cards is the demons that are speaking to them okay these demons who know their life history that know everything these people are able to communicate with these demons and what happens is that when you go on youtube and when you go on facebook and you start to open up to them you're going to start getting hurt hurt um headaches you're gonna start being tormented okay you're gonna start dealing with brain fog you're gonna be dealing with a lot of bitterness a lot of your emotions are not going to be in the right place right you're gonna be going through moments where you just feel very um physically maybe spiritually out of place why because the person who you opened up to because you didn't do because certain people didn't do their homework right and they went and, and they just started to, to allow these people to prophesy a word into them. They, without researching their ministry, without knowing much about them, right? You open yourself up and now because you opened up and you came to them, you given their altars legal jurisdiction that they would not have had had you prayed about it had you because sometimes when we go that's why we got to get used to sometimes being alone but not comfortable being alone does that make sense i am used to being alone but i'm not i don't want to get comfortable being alone because i'm human too i go through sometimes i just want to be with a, 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 a friend of mine and just laugh and giggle another mom you know another wife you know sometimes you want to be human you want to have those moments where you are yourself where your personality can you know come out and sometimes you don't want to always have the the prophet turned on the pastor turned on sometimes you know that's why i don't know about child but when my hubby gets home you know yeah we've gone through many things ups and downs but for the most part you know when he comes home i get happy to see him because he's my friend he's the one that i can talk to about anything he's the one that i can you know even though he's the one i yell at if i have to Okay, but at the end of the day, you know, I, I know that if I need to speak to him about something, you know, I'm going to speak to him. So this is why the Lord even put it in my heart to do the, the fastings that have to do with Satan. You can't have my marriage to do the weekly fastings for the Power Friday prayer call um, for the Friday, Power Fasting Fridays. That's going to have to do with um destiny swapping and destiny exchange. Okay, so this is for women that are battling with their ministry women that are battling in their marriage women that are battling with um their destiny they're living a life that does not because they have such a a mighty um anointing over their life this is for mighty women of god that are going to be fasting with us every week women that are in the mentorship like you know they're fasting every week because they need a men to 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 make sure that nobody else is living their life like the finances and the health that belong to you but we need to make sure through these f power fasting fridays that nobody else has your life nobody else has your good health nobody else is swapping destinies with you right because of their jealousy because of their envy because of their you know lack of their connection with the lord right so they want to portray themselves right as in the blessing that they have is authentic it is a move of god no you know i prophetically prophesy now in the mighty name of jesus that at when, when we start getting into this fast you best to believe that there are things that belong to us and we're gonna make sure that we get it and we're gonna make sure that through these weekly fastings that we're doing there are witches and warlocks pulling their wigs 
off, okay? Pulling the hair off of their the off of the root of their head, right? Because they're being stripped down from their powers. They're being stripped down from their evil altars. They're being stripped down from having your health, from having your finances, for you know, gaining authority and gaining positions through the destruction of your household, the destruction of your children, right? So you may want to be honest. You may want somebody to be real with you. You may want somebody, right, to tell you how it is, but you have to understand, right, what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses, right? If you are only seeking deliverance, right, you need to be consistent. Without the deliverance and without the consistency, you're not going to have deliverance. So these people that um portraying themselves like, oh, the, the, the Lord just moved in a mighty way. Oh my God, like the mighty wind. Yes, there are times where the Lord can and will move like that. But for the most part, the devil is going to come back and afflict the same people because they weren't consistent with the Lord. They came and tried to use him like if he's a magic genie. They came and tried to use the prophet like if the prophet was a magician, right? So this is why there's a difference between a prophecy, a prophetic word, right? Is never going to be released over your life and you're just going to get to go home and fornicate and and God is just going to you know, send you to the multitudes, you're not going to sacrifice, you're not going to sow your time into the kingdom, you're not going to sow any offerings, you're not going to, you know, read your Bible, read your word, you pay, you, you know, this is why many of those people, they go to those churches and they're like, yeah, prophesy, prophesy, because they are attracted, okay, they are addicted to a prophetic word and not Jesus Christ, not the Holy Spirit, not the Father, because if they was, right, connected to God and to Jesus and to the Father, right, their authenticity would be validated through the backing up of the Spirit of God and the fruits of the Spirit. So because those people are positioning themselves, right, in those churches, it causes them to be front and center on social media. And this is why they they go to the multitudes and they pray and they put certain topics they put certain lingo okay that they know is going to generate views right they they go through you know they, they have certain languages right psychics and prophets you know they got certain languages they got certain ling lingos right so we have to just like amari said we have to take back everything that the devil stole we have to fast and say devil we are not going to eat today and we are going to hijack those demons. We are going to hijack the enemy's, excuse me, the enemy's camp. We're going to go into his territory and we are going to hijack them. Why? Because we need to understand that the devil comes to steal to kill and to destroy. So this is why when you look, right, um, when Jesus was tempted and he said to them, if you the son of God, turn these stones to become bread, right? Jesus knew that you can't live on bread alone. You cannot live only on a prophetic word, right? So the devil, this is why Jesus was telling the devil, like, listen, my fasting, this power that I'm seeking, it has more, po more power than the words that you're professing. So this is why it says when Jesus was led into the spirit, led by the spirit into the wilderness, right? To be tempted by the devil. It says after his 40 days and after his 40 nights, yes, he was hungry because he was a man. Okay. He was a man that was going through things. Amen. Even though he was the son of God, amen. He was still going through some things in his human nature, right? It says, but the tempter, when he came in and said to him, if you are the son of God, he was trying to come into his life and he was trying to cause doubt in his life, which is what the devil does when he prophesies. He prophesies lies. And so there are many people, many ministries, hallelujah, that are prophesying 
denying the move of God, the movement of God, the prophetic wave of God, and it is not. It is the wave of the devil, the wave of witches, the wave of demonic networks and impartations, right? Is demonic networks that are working together to promote an agenda, okay? So this is what they're doing, okay? This is why, I don't know if you remember the, the blood money that I put on my post the other day and the shift, the movie that the Lord, or I didn't even see that movie and the Lord was already showing me something else and he showed me that movie as a reference and I had to go and check the trailer and when I looked at the trailer, what did I see? A man portraying himself to be Satan, right? To come in as the deceiver to cause people to feel like you got to listen to what I say. You got to do what I want you to do so that you can get your blessing and it's like, no, a prophet is standing there and, and is the middleman between the people and between God, but the prophet is not there to threaten you. The one who can hurt you right now, the prophet can, yes, proclaim a word over you. He can, you know, if you mess with a prophet, he can curse your home. Yes, he can literally do all that things, but a prophet is not going to want to voluntarily kill you, which is what a lot of these, you know, so-called prophets on Facebook and YouTube are doing, right? They are saying that if you don't listen to them, right? You are not going to see the results on this month, right? So when you have certain people saying, okay, you just hold on, you're going to get your deliverance in November. You're going to get your deliverance in December. Like hold on because we're going through a deliverance and you just got to be patient. No, you should not be feeling sick during your deliverance. You should not be feeling tormented. You should not be feeling like you don't have, right, the backing up of God and his spirit. If anything, when you are receiving a true deliverance, you're going to be putting in that work and it's going to be a, a shift in your mind mentally because you're going to be like, okay, I got to go through this process of deliverance. I got to go through this process of liberation and I got to renew my mind and I'm going through all of these, th these things. So be because you're going through all of these things, you're going to go through them and you're going to see a way out because you're going through them through the power of God. God is going to help you look at your situation. He's going to help you look at your failures and he's going to put a man and woman of God to help you and guide you. Okay. They're going to guide you in the word. They're going to guide you in the service to the Lord and in, in, in giving to the Lord and worshiping to the Lord. They're going to guide you in the areas that you need to be guided in. But what a prophet does, it says, okay, I'm just here to, pro I'm just a prophet. I'm a prophesy the word and you give me the rewards. Like if I was a pastor, right? You, they, they just want the rewards. So into their ministry and they gave you the work, but that's why people, those are fake prophets because you connecting yourself, right? Many people on YouTube, social media, they're connecting themselves to these witch covens. They're connecting themselves to these witches and these groups of witches that look like they're an authentic movement of God. And they're not. So when you see these waves of satanic, you know, um, covens, right, they, they're masquerading as a ministry. But in between them, those that have discernment could be able, like me, I could spot in a room, but that's just... I have the gift, everybody, the Bible says that they give certain people certain spirit, you know, certain gifts, right? Mine is discerning spirits. I could literally look at a group of like 20 people within the church and I can call out the, the, the wolf. I can see the witch. It's not something that I have manifested publicly like you know i've never um you know grabbed the microphone and like literally did that and was like you a witch and you and this and like i've never you know been in a place where i've done that but i have the ability to go into a place and and i go in and i and i can see and i'm like okay and i can see certain spirits attached to them right so the discerning spirits is very hard. This is why I have, when you have that type of prophetic calling over your life, it's going to be hard because people are not going to be able to come around you and get away with the things like you could like people monitoring spirits will come around me and I'll give them the information that they want. Cause I know that no weapon formed against me is going to prosper. I can give them the information. And even though there are moments where I have to be in my word too, cause don't get me wrong. The devil will come the same way he came to tend Jesus. He will try to come and tempt me and, and, 
and and the problems will multiply from zero to a thousand real quick but it's because of the mandate there are moments where i'm like very weak you know as well let me change this i think it's like a commercial what is this hold on one second what is this I need, hold on <laughs> one second i came over here with the reggaeton and stuff I don't know what this is. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. This is like the outer what's going on. Normally it gives you like the opportunity to um skip it. But um, but you know, that's what the devil does. The devil, the Bible says he comes to do what? He comes to steal, he comes to destroy, right? So that we do not live the life that God has for us, right? The life that he intended for us. So we have to remember to go back in the battlefield, go back to the basic go back to the fasting go back to getting on our knees and calling out to god because all of these different processes all of these different things that we feel are defeating us and getting the best of us all of these things that cause us to be vulnerable all of these different things that are that the enemy is sending our way to attack us right if we want a sense of community if we want to gain, you know, spiritual strength, if we seek the emotional support and we want to unite with other women of God that are in prayer and that are in fasting, we are supposed to, you know, unite ourselves with ministries that are doing this on the regular. This is not, you know, they're not doing it to to gain fame they're not doing it to gain um recognition they're doing it just because it's a normal way of life it's just a fasting right but it's a power fasting friday fast right but it's with a intention so the you know i really want to invite you not only into our you know mentorship the link you know whenever you finish this video i want you guys to click the link right join we're gonna be doing amazing and new things we're getting back into our weekly prayer we're getting back into our routine but this is a season right where you have to start you know just doing what you have to do for you you can't wait for somebody else to go and do it for you you can't wait for somebody else to come and prophesy you know the lie over your life like you have to be willing amen to put in that work because those that are willing to put in the work and pray and unite right because the devil knows when you when there's no authority like even you go to the courthouse and you're gonna have a lot of people tell you that they can help you with this this and this but there are certain things that after that they have no more jurisdiction and i feel like if you're home and you don't have a home church you need a mentorship you need to connect yourself with other you know mighty women of god and you need to be a part of a local church or a online church or a mentorship you need that but they have to be helping you right this is the reason why i always you know not just throw the mentorship out there because it's my mentorship, but you have to be a part of something, right? How are you going to grow if they don't provide you with weekly prayer? How are you going to grow at home if you're not connected, if you don't have a sense of community to fast? How are you going to be connected, right? And find biblical solutions if they are not helping you with your problem, right? So you're just receiving the word from them, but there's no one-on-one. -on -one. There's no one-on-one -on -one support. You're not, right? Vega, you're not, um, you know, seeing that God bless you. Um, he said like, yes, I am so girl. Let me tell you, I am so sorry. We have been so busy, but I do have your oils downstairs. My husband was supposed to take it to you, Elmana, but we ended up having some issues with my daughter's car breaking down. We had another family from the church. Their car broke down. Girl, it was a nightmare, but don't worry. I got you and I'm gonna put an extra free one in there for you too. So don't worry. I have it, the envelope right downstairs for you i i got you <laughs> el man i don't think i forgot i was actually looking at your oil use the other day and i was like we gotta send the el manas oil use but we just had so much like i said it's my first video like actually coming back and just being free okay so after i do this video i'm gonna go get my little pedicure done i got my nails done today um i'm gonna go back then my own nails but i'm gonna go and do my um feet today and go get my pedicure go relax go to the church do what we have to do and, you know, we're just going to move forward as the mighty women of God that we are. Amen. So if you're going through, amen, something 
and in your life like i really encourage you right to to be watchful with the type of people that you connect with online be very intentional when you connect with these people because if you fall prey to them amen they can potentially kill you with witchcraft they could potentially kill you through curses and and things that are spoken uh you know things that are evil things that are spoken they could project evil things into your life because you just opened up yourself to someone right who didn't what, who is a wolf and somebody who was a witch so because you know you just got to be wise and you just have to be vigilant okay guys so i love you guys i pray that this word amen was a blessing to your life if you need any prayer amen let me know in the comments below we will definitely um pray for you we are going to be fasting amen this friday already we are going to kick off back in the fasting game on friday and i am going to personally amen be praying with all of the women right and we have something amazing that is coming up as well I don't want to say it yet, but just know that it's going to be something powerful that we are going to be doing with our fastings that I know is going to be off the chain. I just don't want to mention it yet because, you know, but once I mention it, it's going to be really nice. Like when I sit here and tell you your prayer life is going to be elevated, your fasting life, a lot of things is going to be elevated in all of our lives. Once we kick that off, just know, amen, that we're just moving forward and doing all of the things amen that we have to do amen he said i cannot wait to have you elmana in our fast and all of the ladies amen i know that are gonna watch the replay later if you're catching the replay don't forget to hashtag replay amen and don't forget like i said if you guys haven't gotten your hands amen on the prayer oils let me know amen isela did you get the i don't remember if you got the frankincense and myrrh Okay, let me know because I'm going to put an extra one in there for you. Let me know if you want this one, another heaven scent. Let me know if you want one of the men ones or if you want the frankincense and myrrh. The only thing is, God, that the frankincense and myrrh, this one is unisex, right? But the only thing is that this one is really strong. This one is like a biblical scent. So if you cannot, you know, if your nose cannot tolerate this type of, you know, strong biblical you know, sense, you know, you, the, it may not be for you, but this is great. If someone wants to, you know, you, if you want to use this during your fasting days, you know, on days that you're fasting just to stay connected or at all times, right with the Lord, I would definitely use this on your spiritual days, on your fasting days. You're going to separate yourself with the Lord. This is it, but you got to, I was actually, I'm going to be honest with you. I was actually thinking because it's so strong, right? And I haven't did anything to this one because this one's a hundred percent, you know, biblical. I did a little bit, but not like too much because not like these, right? But I was actually thinking about changing a little bit, the formula, just a little bit, just to make it something that they can use every day but like i said this one is like that so just let me know amen diana yes definitely i have so many people when i did my last yard sale that gave reviews i haven't even had a chance to put it amen but i, I only put one i don't know if you guys saw the review from the lady they, they these people were funny they were saying i had people say cracking me up like some of the ladies was like that they would not want their man to wear this like at all and, like they couldn't wear that if they wasn't around <laughs> I was like, oh no, but this thing, when I sit here and tell you it smells very delicious, like ladies, if you got a husband, let me tell you something, we can't be possessive, okay, but, because we want to smell good too, but we got to, you know, let them smell good too, I promise you, you are going to love this, it's, it's very masculine, but it's also very soft very powerful this is why it's called lion heart right because it's like very masculine but it's also very soft and it's going to definitely keep them in tune as the leaders that they are and this one like i said the heaven scent and then this one is the um frankincense no this one i gave it a name this one is called royal priesthood okay so i am going to be working also on the other oils that are going to be coming out you know really soon and like i said when you use these you can actually say like Sela has gotten so many of them. Sela is like my number one girl. <laughs> 
Amen. They do not wear off at all. Like you could take a bath and the scent will be on there and you would like is is 100% no, you know, nasty chemicals. I didn't cut it with nothing. That is 100% pure. 100% like nothing in it. I didn't want to contaminate those, you know, oils with any type of garbage and and chemicals is very safe on your skin. It's safe on kids skin as well. Like I said, you could take a shower. You don't even got to use all those harsh chemicals. You could just, you know, anoint yourself and smell good at the same time. If you don't like lotions and all that stuff is a really good option. Okay. So <laughs> yes. All right. So I love you guys. Make sure you please like this video. Yes. They are so good. Right. And this is why now moving forward, like I said, I'm gonna have a lot of people every week giving you guys testimonies, right? And they're gonna be real cut uncut so you can really see what other people are saying about it and what they smell like. Cause I know some of y'all may not have smelled it or gotten it yet, but just trust me when y'all get it, y'all gonna be like, Oh my god, they, those oils smell so good. I need to get one. I didn't imitate or copy anybody's oil, you prayer oils, anointing thing. No, you're not gonna find nothing on the market like this at all. And I can guarantee you that. Okay, so these are copyright. I already did all my copyrights and trademarked everything through destroying evil altars. So these are you know 100 percent legit. And anytime you purchase any of our oils it helps us with our local church okay so if you guys also feel led to sow into our ministry the links are above um or below on youtube amen you'll see the links where you guys could donate into our ministry and you know you could donate through paypal cash app or zell okay so continue praying for our ministry and i will catch you ladies in the next video god bless love you too amari